All right, folks, an event considered the Super Bowl of Scholars is being held in D.C. this weekend. It is the fourth annual Power Talk Series, which is honoring social activists and comedian Dick Gregory. Power Talk Series began, brings together various speakers and scholars to address the issues of concern to African Americans, as well as inspire and empower our community. Joining us right now is the man himself, Dick Gregory, and journalist Carl Nelson, host of this year's Power Talk Lecture Series and host of the Carl Nelson Show on WOL Radio here in D.C. What's happening? Hey, I just, this is my this is my week. I was honored over at Chili Bowl, big picture next to David oh, yeah, 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 the, uh, the, the mural. Yeah. But he took my sandwich out of my hand. That's why. That's why. <laughs> so just everything's good. It's sitting look at little people go crazy over Trump. Oh, it it it, it is it is interesting. Um, uh, it's interesting to me when he goes to one of these rallies and he's in Iowa, and all the people cheering and he's going look. I, I look. I don't want some poor person being his cabinet secretary. I want somebody rich. And they're like, yeah. And I'm going, you know, y'all broke as hell. Well, uh, and, 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 and they're getting welfare, which are called uh, farm subsidies. Yeah. Well, but they've been doing that for years. You see, the, the, the Southerners got blamed for slavery and lynching and all the filth you could have. They made two cents on their crop, on the dollar. The money was made in New York and in London. The people that turned it into this. And they, uh, Lincoln, they'll shoot you, they'll go to war. But that's what that's about. And so when you look at it, and, 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 and you see, what bothers me is, well, it don't. It's <laughs> the number one drug out state that we sit here now is Utah, not black folk. Mm -hmm. Okay. 81% of everybody that OD'd this morning is white folks. West Virginia, number two. No. Uh, all the opioids they dropped in West Virginia is unbelievable. No, 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 no. no. Number two is up in, up in Maine. Oh, yeah. Well, so we got Maine, but West Virginia, they dropped, what was it, in one town? It was 300,000 people when they dropped four and a half million opioids yeah, but in they, one year on yeah, that town? But they thought they was eating mayonnaise. <laughs> 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 you know? But, no, it's, it's fun to sit and watch, but this is, this is over. It's, it's just not over. I told you. You don't think Trump gonna last? Trump will be gone in six weeks. Six he weeks. Signed, he signed a, a resignation before he was sworn in. That's what it's about. Well, you know, every, every time they bring up Russia, he get nervous. I mean, he wants he, he get mad, start tweeting, start cussing folks out, wants to fire folks. I, sure I mean, when you when you when you guilty, you sort of act guilty. Maybe it's not him. Mm. Who is it? Uh, well, <laughs> I just said, maybe it's not him. <laughs> when you see him in the red tie, the only major paper that said that, other than what I said it on the right. show, when you see Trump in the red tie, that's him. When you see him in any other tie, that's the clone. Oh, not the clone. Yeah. So, I mean, it's two people with bad hair like that? <laughs> no. That, that, that's scary. Hollywood white folk can make anything they want. Well... Okay. I, I did see the movie FX, which is pretty good. Carl, the Power Talk series this weekend. Um, what are you hoping to come out, of, bring come out of it? Well, hopefully we'll get folks to see some of our, our scholars like Dick Gregory and the rest of them who passed on, who, who people never heard of them. You know, Dr. Ben, Dr. Clark, Amos Wilson, Dr. Francis Cress Welsing. They don't get the accolades that they should have gotten. Right. And many of them have passed on and they were sort of disappointed because they didn't think they did enough for us. So what we are doing this weekend is, in um, the fourth year doing it, is sort of celebrating them, showing people that they, they exist. You know, the, the Oscars have their best actors. Mm -hmm. the, uh, Grammys got their best singers, even the rappers got their own show. So these folks like Greg who've done so much for us collectively, we need to honor them and that's what we're trying to do. Yeah, do you think that it is that we don't, a problem with African Americans is that we don't honor our icons in this way and because we don't know folks that have fought for us and what they have done, that it's harder to build on that future? No, I don't. I think, you were talking about the Jews, what they do for each other. The Jews been out of slavery for 9,000 years. We haven't been out 400. Go back 400, that nine, they acted the same way. If we want to talk about, we don't know what slavery do. We to talk about women and don't know what, uh, 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 you jazz men. Mm -hmm. They never talked about racism in their songs. 
like Billie Holiday, mm -hmm. told the whole world black men is being lynched by white men. Mm -hmm. A whole world. Miles Davis ain't never said nothing like that. Name one jazz man that said anything. Nina Simone cussed out a whole state. <laughs> not, 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 and we, to say, see, we, we image, we look image of this white boy. We do what he do. Uh, look at the overall. As long as black folks was dying, nobody cared, not even black folks. Nobody cared. Now they stop everything. Mm -hmm. Everything. Everything you hear now is talking about overlord. And, and, and I, I'm 85. They had no compassion when crack blew up. Uh -huh. No, none. None. We didn't either. You know? That's true, because there are many African Americans who are also pushing uh, many of those same laws as well. Yeah. And so this, this is what it is. But the women, I live in a country where a white man, his mama couldn't vote till 1921. We had the right, black men, mm -hmm. with the 15th, 16th, 17th Amendment. Okay? We had the right. They didn't give it to us. That's why the laws ain't nothing. All right? The laws ain't nothing. A black comic, one man or woman, couldn't work a white nightclub. That wasn't a law, but it was implemented. That's what we in right now. It's about to change now. And, and Trump ain't got nothing to do with it. It's about to change because the young folks now got a different mindset. TV One, you, you know. If NBC, these shows would be shut down. Who would have ever thought, I said, don't call a show. Fifteen, five years ago, uh, Whole Foods will be out of business in a few years. They're out of business now. They just, just sold it the other day. Did you know that? Yep, the Amazon. Amazon. Soul Food. And, and so, so we look at this here. Paul talks here is what time and where? Uh, Metropolitan AME Church, downtown D.C. Start at 4 o'clock today, 1 o'clock on Saturday. All right, then. We appreciate it. Thanks a bunch. Dick, always good seeing you. Always. Looking brother. smooth. Brother. <laughs> Weekdays on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh, my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no. Ow. That ain't going to cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out because you got to fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin, weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.